Hello again. Our floor building project has reached the point where we can start to prepare the floorboards for the installation. But of course, it wasn't that straightforward and simple. Because nothing here is. It's been a long time since we've seen these boards, so we have forgotten the whole situation and, of course, all the changes we have done in the structures in the house. That isn't helping. So at first we needed to bring all the boards down from the barn and spread them on the kitchen choices to see what kind of TLC they require. But at least we were smart enough to number all these boards when we took them off. We did remember that some of the floorboards were a bit wonky and some were thicker than the rest. And the rest had been carved with an axe to match with the previous choice. We had to put our thinking caps on to figure out what we're going to do here. So these floors, they didn't let us go easy. As we built a new foundation for the fireplace and some parts of the boards are rotten, there is some patches that we need to get new boards for to fill all the gaps. So we need to work even more to get very unperfect floors. Story of my life. But I'm hanging on to these boards for dear life, as they are one of the last original features we were able to save from this house. Thank you. 
here we go, once again doing things the hard way. So we decided to cut all these wonky thick boards thinner to make the assembling of the floor in the kitchen a bit more effortless. It's a lot of work, but surprisingly quite meditative. <laughs> then it was time to see if it really worked. But that was only one board. There's 12 of them left. While we were working on these boards, the weather turned from winter to warm spring and then back to winter. way. Uh, of course not pretty like it's in summer or winter but it's this uh, anticipation kind of um, when the snow has melted away and the nature is coming back to life but the nature is still so dead and I like this because I know that this is a short period and it's gonna not gonna stay like this for a long time so so I have learned to love this view. What I came here for is this weird spot here, um, close by our plot, where this massive gang of birds arrived this time of the year. They were here last time, last year also at this very same time of the year. And their chirping is nuts. I don't know what kind of rave they're having there, but. I'm gonna go and see now. <laughs> if this doesn't sound like spring, I don't know what does. I had no idea when we bought this place that there would be so much uh, animals and birds here but I'm happy there is and of course before I wasn't excited about them as I am now but um, yeah you <laughs> you get excited about things uh, that you're surrounded with so I think that's only natural 
My intention is to get familiar with a raven, so <laughs> I could befriend one. And um, I need to check how to um, kind of uh, make them spend time on our yard, so we could find a friendship there. So there is our poor house and the barn that seems to slide down the hill every year a bit more. <laughs> I think we're not gonna do anything about the barn. Um, it's gonna collapse someday, but uh, we need to take care of the mess then. And these are our poor apple trees. So last summer there was so much apples that these trees, they just started to droop and uh, we didn't notice because we never drive this way. We always come from there and go there, so we never see this, this part of the yard. And our neighbor came to say that, go and pick the damn apples! They were like uh, breaking all the branches. And then we came here and we were like, fuck. I have no time to do anything about those apples, so we just shook the trees to make them uh, drop on the ground and leave it for animals to eat and picked as much as we can and brought it home and uh, yeah so they went to waste uh, I'm not sure if they have ever had so many apples before but now they did and we kind of um, lo lost our chance <laughs> on that one and now it seems like there has been animals um, eating the branches also I don't know deer or rabbits or what does that but there's a lot of uh, rabbit dropping so I'm guessing it's the rabbits doing this <laughs> you can see the little teeth grinding here <laughs> oh. I have been blabbering for a long time now but what I actually came here to see and show you is uh, something that has happened on the house. Here it is. So we are getting all modern here. We have uh, warm and cold water pipes going into our house and it's not attached to the main water pipe and we don't have running water here obviously. But. Um, Everything is ready in the kitchen for the water to come. So I will show you from the inside. So we have plans of putting the kitchen sink here, or it will be here because <laughs> these are now done. So uh, there is the sewage and the cold and warm water pipe now installed. The water pipe goes over there and the sewage goes over there and downwards. So tomorrow we're gonna go and uh, pick those insulation bales for this space and um, the day after tomorrow, so on Tuesday, uh, we're gonna go and pick up the machine that we can blow the insulation here with. And we have the paper ready and uh, now I'm just thinking that what have we forgotten about <laughs> so that we don't have to uh, rip everything open. Uh, I guess we have been pretty so um, we haven't forgotten anything but I'm just second guessing all the time because this seems like something that we uh, rookies shouldn't be <laughs> doing but here we are and uh, yeah you do what you gotta do to save money so we do it by ourselves Oh, 
Thank you.